Hello traders and welcome to the Forex Boat educational session. In this video we will be talking about the GBP USD or in other words the cable. Specifically we will be talking about why cable is so popular amongst the traders. Is it really a good choice to trade cable? What is the best time frame? What is the best time to trade pound dollar? And how to identify trend along with the support and resistance levels. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow all the educational videos we do in every single week along with the market analysis and live trade examples. So what makes cable such a popular currency pair? Of course, this is the volatility that this pair provides because if we compare to the euro versus dollar, the volatility is much higher, thus the opportunities are bigger. While the euro dollar could move 10 pips, pound dollar could move 30 pips. So this huge volatility or increased volatility is what makes it attractive for traders. Besides, it offers a very low spread, sometimes similar even to the euro dollar not as low but usually it more or less the same it could be as low as one pip or lower at some brokers but most of the time is two or three pips still it's very low if we compare it to many other top crosses but as it's so popular because the pound economy and united states economy are the amongst the top economies in the world it's actually subject to manipulation of course as the same as for the euro dollar and this is why it makes it riskier than other currency pairs to trade and perhaps for this reason for the novice trader it is not the best choice to start with the pound dollar because of the highly manipulative nature of this currency pair but once you get some experience you understand the behavior of the cable how it moves during certain times what is the volatility what's what what needs driving this currency pair then of course you can trade it with profit so yeah for the novice trader it's better to stick to something else rather than the pound dollar and only then move to this currency pair once you get to know this currency pair you may wonder when is the best to trade this pair and which time frame to choose for trading it is a hard question because it depends on the style you want to trade, whether you're a swing trader, intraday trader, and depends on your availability to trade. If you can't stick around by the monitor all day or you can only dedicate an hour per day, it also will depend on that. But generally speaking, the volatility comes to the cable around 8 a.m. GMT when the European session gets opened and it lasts about till 16 GMT. So that's the time when the most volatility is presented by the cable. So obviously this would be the best time to trade it because you want to catch these opportunities, these price movements. Whether you should stick to the lower time frames or higher, well, it is always better to use multiple time frames. You need to see the price direction what is the big trend and follow this trend on the lower time frames this is the most common approach and this approach works now if we look at the cable right now what we can see is of course the trend you can easily identify the trend on the daily time frame only then you need to decide whether to buy or sell in our case we see higher highs and higher lows. This is one of the easiest way to identify the trend where the price is fading to break below the previous low and produces a new higher high. At this stage, we would need to see the pullback and look for the buying opportunities as long as price remains above this low. Another easy way to follow the trend is to use moving averages. You can see I have added here four moving averages, but you can use different ones. In my case, these are 50 simple and exponential and 200 simple and exponential moving averages. What I generally look for is when the price above all moving averages. This gives me the sense of a strong trend. 
like what we have right now is priced above 250 moving averages so this is clearly a very very bullish trend for the pound dollar and in this scenario i will certainly look for the buying opportunities while we identify the trend on the daily time frame we can move to lower time frames for example one hour chart and also look at the moving averages when we see that the price is above all moving averages for example right there it broke to the upside it was above all moving averages it happened also right there so these are the two periods when we saw price was above the moving averages and here now we would look for opportunities up until the point where the price remains above either this area or this area because if it gets lower it means we are not above all moving averages same would apply here we would look for opportunities as long as the price above this area so these are the lines where we would look for the buying opportunities as long as price is above our support areas here is the same we would be looking the opportunities until the price is above this area so going back to one hour time frame and just moving back what we see here we would not find a good opportunity because there was no strong corrective move to the downside we need some pullbacks 61.8 fibonacci retracement level is a good indication like if we apply fibs to this correction obviously if we reach 61.8 this would be below our key support moving on applying it to this wave right there there would be no opportunity for us but we could use the last wave also there are multiple fibonacci levels that you could use and see so generally 61.8 is a good price to enter but 38.2 and 50 are also the levels that should be watched so right there if we zoom it you can see there was a clean bounce of these fibs which is 50% and we had the rejection of the moving average as well on the one hour time frame. So this is the opportunity that you could use. Now, if we move further yet again, what we see is the correction to the downside, but here the correction was 38.2. So yet another rejection of the FIPS. But the best is to look when you have the rejection of the Fibonacci retracement level as well as moving averages either 200 or 50 because this is the lower time frame. And this opportunity could be actually very good in terms of the buying for long term on the pound. And for example, when we see that confirmation and the confirmation is the new higher high. Previous wave started right there and we had to see this break above the previously made high. So this could have been the confirmation. Then wait for a pullback towards 50 moving averages. And around this price, for example, we could have this buying opportunity. Now let's move to the daily time frame. As easy as that, we could spot where to buy or sell pound dollar same applies of course to other currency pairs but you should be more careful with the pound because it's more volatile and you need to make calculations as to what should be your risk because if you trade it same way as the euro dollar you would be risking much more than if you would trade the euro dollar itself so that would have been our buy trade right there and now we need to find how far it can go of course, for that, we could be using previous levels of support resistance. We could be using the rejection of the moving average right there. There is important resistance area. As we can see, there was a break below the 200 moving averages. There was a cross of the 50 and 200 moving averages. So this is clearly a very, very important area of resistance. And this is where the price could be getting and potentially 200 pips to the upside. Another way, interesting way to look at the pound is to look at the correlated currency pairs. Now let's remove all drawings because many times while the cable is showing the bullish trend, other correlated pairs are showing a bearish trend. So we need to make sure that this is either pound is driving the pair or the dollar. And in our case, let's just look into pounds with franc. 
on the pawn Swiss franc we have similar picture so this is a very bullish case because it's above all moving averages let's go to the pound yen the same we are above all moving averages very bullish trend let's go to the pound australian dollar on the pound australian dollar not so bullish probably because the australian dollar is also very strong so here is no go and finally let's let's have a look at the pound versus canadian dollar on the pound canadian yet again we see a very very bullish trend above all moving averages and in fact if you missed the pound dollar and you know that there is a bullish trend for the pound you could be trading the pound versus the canadian dollar like right there we have this setup where the price corrected down and it's still above the moving averages so let's move on the forward chart and see what's happening on the forward time frame we have the rejection of 200 exponential moving average this is one of the signs that the price is about to start getting bullish but for that we need to produce a new higher high and of course this high has to be broken on the other hand we could be looking for these opportunities when the price is right at the bottom because it will provide a good risk to reward ratio but as a confirmation not only the high high has to be produced but we can use the simple trend line and see if there was a breakout for example here there was no confirmed breakout and i would need to see break above this high in order to confirm the breakout above the trend line and then have my buying opportunity and besides we can also add a fibonacci raisement level and see what's happening so based on fibonacci we had 38.2 fibs not cleanly rejected we could probably use another fibs just to the overall trend same no rejection of the fibs and yet another wave no clean rejection so final wave was this one maybe we could use multiple fibs and see where the rejection was because it's hard to spot which wave you should generally use for these kind of rejections so use multiple fibs use multiple time frames use multiple currency pairs to confirm the validity of the pound dollar trend and you shouldn't always trade the pound dollar because there are many correlated currency pairs that are lagging and you could capture these opportunities besides pound is highly manipulated and you should try trading other crosses like pound new zealand pound australian and so on try to see multiple buying signals on multiple pound pairs and also when you trade pound dollar we just looked at the pound pairs but we still need to see the dollar pairs to give us the same confirmation like if we go to the euro dollar and move to the daily time frame we can also spot the bullish trend meaning that the dollar could be still weak moving to the dollar yen same it's a bearish trend on the dollar yen and let's move now to dollar swiss franc same bearish trend so this is how you could approach trading the pound and now you know how to spot the trend you know that you can trade correlated currency pairs that are lagging for example in our case it was a pound versus canadian dollar same providing the buying opportunities maybe not to focus on a single pair but use multiple pairs correlated to the pound dollar understanding the direction and following the direction on the low time frames i think the best is to use daily time frame to capture the overall trend then look for the opportunity on the hourly chart and then perhaps trade when the most traded volume is given started from the 8 a.m gmt this is where you want to take your opportunity to maximize the risk to reward ratio so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this lesson from the tradingboat.com don't forget to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button to see more similar videos on other currency pairs as well as different topics thank you all for watching and we will be back with new video very soon